Hello, my name is Kelly Williams, and today I will be talking about Herman Mueller. Mueller was born on December 20th, 1890, and raised in Harlem, New York. He attended public high school in the Bronx, where he created the first science club. At the age of 16, he was awarded the scholarship of Cooper Hewitt to attend Columbia University. While in college, he worked on jobs to support his mother and sister. His first wife, Jessie Muir, was fired from Rice University because she became pregnant with their first child. He had two children, David and Helen Muir. His mother, Frances, lived on a modest income after her husband passed away when Muir was only 10 years old. Mueller worked in Thomas Morgan's lab, whose research was about heredity traits and drosophilia. Bridges and Stuyvesant also worked under Thomas Morgan and were rivals of Mueller's. Mueller left Morgan's lab to work under Julian Huxley, his lifelong friend. Edgar Altenberg was also a friend who worked with Mueller during his time in Morgan's lab. Mueller's family was sympathetic to the emergent labor and socialist movement. It later influenced Mueller to become a communist. He was an underground editor of The Spark, a newspaper that promoted civil rights, feminism, and progressive legislation for the Communist Party. The FBI began to investigate his communist agenda, and his marriage was collapsing. Mueller then went on the run and worked with Timof Rosowski in Berlin, Germany. He studied at the Institute for Brain Research while Hitler was in power. Once the Nazis took over the institution, Mueller accepted an invitation to work with Vavilov in the Soviet Union. Mueller presented positive eugenics to Stalin. However, because of his disagreements with Lysenko, who Stalin favored, Mueller feared that he would be assassinated. After his partner Vavilov mysteriously died, Mueller enlisted in the Spanish Civil War to escape. From that point, his good friend and old mentor Huxley helped him acquire a job as a guest investigator at the University of Edinburgh. Mueller used sex-linked chromosomal gene markers to track X-ray-induced mutations in fruit flies, and this later led to his biggest discovery. He did it by breeding fruit flies and collecting data based on the offspring's visible and lethal mutations. He created a comparison group of flies that were not induced with x-rays in order to confirm that the mutations he observed in his experimental group was not spontaneous. At the University of Texas, Mueller conducted his experiments in the fly room in order to breed and induce radiation onto flies. Mueller used stock design method that rearranges and combines recessive and dominant visible markers to identify the passage of chromosomes from parent to offspring. In his second experiment, he used X-linked genes called CLB that are lethal and recessive in male flies only. In his third experiment, he fused two X chromosomes together in the female and separated a Y chromosome. In the offspring, the males inherited their X chromosome from dad and the Y chromosome from mom. The intensity of the X radiation was emitted by tungsten target Coolidge tube. A dosimeter is used to measure the intensity of the X rays directly in R units per minute. All of these experiments resulted in the higher X frequency of mutation when induced by the X ray than the control group. He also concluded that the lethal mutation frequency was 150 times higher in heavily treated flies. He confirmed that X-rays induced sex-linked recessive mutations in fruit flies. These mutations were point mutations, and it induces transgenerational phenotypic changes. This discovery helped the development of the cancer risk assessment model. He inspired Rachel Carson in her book, The Silent Sprain. 
He raised concerns about the effects of the atomic bomb and calls the production of the protective materials against radiation. And thank you so much.